Hello everybody, I hope you're having a good day. My name is Dr. Heather Moore, owner of Total Performance Physical Therapy. Let's go over sudden back pain without injury. So this seems to be one of our more popular series that we've done. We've done neck pain, we've done knee pain, and we've gotten a lot of questions on the back. So this is a very common thing that happens. And when I say sudden back pain without injury, this is one of those ones where you, um, people refer to it as spasms, or they go to bend and pick something up and they can't get up. Uh, don't really know why, nothing really was um, done beforehand that you can think of, but all of a sudden you're in pain, you either can't get out of bed, you can't stand up, it hurts to sit, um, and so on and so forth. So. That's what we're talking about when we're talking about this back pain. Now, the hard part about back pain, with any type of back pain, whether it's sudden or not, is the fact that it can come from a number of sources. So it really makes uh, it difficult to tell you right over uh, YouTube or online how exactly to treat it because it can come from a number of different uh, number of different places. So you do want to make sure that you consult your medical professional. We offer free consultations. All you have to do is call our office at 215-997-9898 and we'd be happy to get you in. But it is important that you want to find the origin because even if it's one of those types of back pains where it comes on and then maybe it feels better the next day, if you didn't do anything to address it, if you didn't do anything to fix it, an Advil is not fixing it. Laying on your back all day is not fixing it. It is taking an active approach to fixing it. And how you do that, step number one, is figure out what happened. If you don't take an active approach in fixing it, it's gonna come back again. And the bad part about it is, is that the next time it's not gonna go away in a day, it's gonna go away in two days, or maybe it won't go away at all without some sort of medical help. Chronic back pain is not started usually. The majority of chronic back pain starts from pain that is just ignored. When we think of chronic back pain or people who have debilitating back pain and back pain that prevents them from doing things, everyone always brushes it off thinking, oh, they must have had a car accident, a work injury. Most chronic back pain, most debilitating back pain actually comes from these little bouts of sudden pain that come on that were ignored and never dealt with and never addressed. And then all of a sudden it builds up to the point where surgery is required or some type of really intense intervention is needed to happen. So it's really important that you find the cause of this sudden back pain. Now if it happens once and it never happens again in your entire life, you're golden. Um, that's not the case, we both know that. So what happens? Let's talk about some of the reasons you get this sudden back pain. So if you get sudden back pain and you have a shooting pain down your legs, numbness or tingling, any of those types of sensations going all the way down your leg, you're looking at possibly a herniated disc. Obviously something you wanna get checked out right away. Not gonna happen, uh, no amount of rest is going to put the disc back into place. You may have some calming down of how much is going down the legs, but if you bend over and all of a sudden everything just shoots down your legs or you have numbness and tingling or you lose bladder control, that's a sign that there is some type of nerve impairment. So that's usually coming from the disc. And in that case, you really wanna to get to the hospital. You don't wanna mess around with it. You want to get seen right away. This is not something that I would recommend trying to Google some YouTube exercises. There's some repeated motion exercises, but it's really something you wanna make sure you're diagnosing because any type of shoot, any type of pain that shoots generally is nerve related, nerve can cause some real damage. So you wanna make sure that if that's the type of pain you have, you wanna to get to the hospital and you wanna get that seen, something, have a medical professional take a look at that immediately. The other type of sudden back pain is spasms. So a lot of times what'll happen is people will go down and their back will go into spasms. They'll feel it pulse. They won't be able to stand up. They'll be stuck in a certain position. They can't get up off the floor. No, no radiating pain, nothing going down the legs, but just a very severe or intense pain. Could be right in the middle of the back, could be on either side of the back, could even be in the butt. But this is a serious pain that doesn't allow you to move. Generally what people do is take Advil, put on heat, and then lay there. What you wanna do is actually you wanna start with just some gentle range of motion. So heat's a great, um, mo uh, great 
medium for this to allow the muscles to relax. Most of the time when you're talking about a sudden back pain you're, and you're just not talking about radiating pain, talking about just that back pain, you're looking at muscle involvement. Um, especially if you're talking and you feel a spasm happen, that's muscle involvement. So taking a hot shower is really a good idea. What you want to do while you're in that hot shower is just start to do some gentle movements. So one of the gentle movements you can do is just place your hands on your knees on your thighs, you don't want to do this unsupported, especially if you're in uh, severe pain, you probably won't even be able to, but just put your hands on your thighs and you just want to arch your back and then go the opposite direction, okay? So you're just going to tuck your tailbone under and then you're going to stick it out. Now, if you're sitting down, you can do this too, where you're just kind of slumped in the chair and then up again. You want to allow blood flow to come back to the muscles and you want to allow it to come back gently. All right, the next thing you can do is you want to do just a, a knee grab. Now, whether you're laying down, you can do this laying down, whether you're standing up, but most of the time if we're talking about a pain that's grabbing you, you're not standing up and maybe you know, you're sitting. But again, you're gonna wanna try not to lift your knee. I'm able to do it because I'm not in back pain, but you wanna really just try and lift your knee Hold it for a couple seconds and then go back down. I know when you're in pain, you don't want to move. It's the last thing you want to do. But most of the time, moving when you have pain is actually going to help minimize this from ever happening again. We don't like to think it will, but most likely it's going to. So doing some exercises, nice and easy, just like that, can help you um, allow you to get some blood flow. The last one I'm gonna show you is just doing a simple double knee to chest. So maybe you bring your foot up and maybe you bring your other foot up, okay? You can do this in a chair, you can do this laying down. Again, it's something that you can do while you're in the hot shower. Maybe you just, as you're in the hot shower, maybe you just bend down and you just go into a nice curved position. You don't wanna make it hurt worse, okay? It's gonna be uncomfortable, but it shouldn't make the symptoms that much worse. You want to stretch to the point of being uncomfortable, but not intense pain. Certainly nothing shooting down your legs. If you or someone you know is suffering from back pain and wants a free consultation with a doctor of physical therapy, all you have to do is call our office at 215-997-9898. We'd be happy to get you in. Thanks and have a good night.